What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it so much. So we are back here on Silver Edge Peaks. And I had so much fun a few days ago hunting with the iron sights on the Eckers 30 out 6. And I ended up getting a giant diamond mule deer. But I came back out here and I wanted to do another challenge. We're kind of going to use some like old school guns, the 50 caliber muzzle loader and the lever action 3030. So we have this bighorn sheep here. We're going to start off with him. I think we just smoked him in the heart. Maybe the shot hit a bit high and maybe hit the neck bone. But I think we heart shot him. Yeah, this guy, he was a level 3 and he wasn't that big. So I think he's going to be silver. Yeah, 127.4. I mean, he was close to gold, but we got a really nice shot there. Double lung and heart. Alright, I just found a really nice sized mountain goat. And those are going to be one of my uh, main species of animals I'm going to hunt today. I just, mountain goats are so fun. They're probably my favorite animal on uh, Silveridge Peaks. So if we can get this guy to go broadside, we're going to try and take a shot on him with the lever action 30-30. I mean, this gun is pretty weak, but it should put him down decently fast. Okay, I just took an extra shot. Just to uh, try and see if he would go down faster if I hit him. But I didn't. And I think he's going to die over there in those trees. So let's go pick him up. He was a really nice size, level 4. Alright, I did have to do quite a bit of tracking for this guy. But probably ran 100 yards and then dropped. Was a really big one actually. Yeah, 100.9. That is a giant mountain goat. Yeah, that's a really big one. But you can see there, the 30-30, it's not the best rifle. Alright, we have another really big level 4 mountain goat. He's almost diamond potential. But we're going to take him with the muzzle loader. Yeah, he's dropped. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to step away from the 30-30 just because it's not the most powerful rifle. And I would like to drop the rest of the animals I shoot. This mountain goat that I'm about to pick up right here, he was another giant, and I'm just going to be showing you the uh, high level 4s that I take out, because I'm going to be shooting other smaller mountain goats in between, but any of them that are at least level 4s I'm going to show you. Um, yeah, that one actually scored a bit lower. His trophy rating could have been a diamond potential, but he was only 99.6, which is still a giant mountain goat. But, yeah, that muzzle loader is just 100 times better. A single lung shot will drop these mountain goats. I don't know for sure, but there's another giant level 4 here. And uh, his trophy rating goes all the way up to 100. So he's almost definitely going to be gold, I think. And... Yeah, his horns are giant, so I kind of think that he may be a respawn from the level 5 troll that I shot last week. I'm not 100% sure, but I think we might be able to get a shot on him with the muzzle loader before he goes over this hill. I just need him to go alert. Come on, buddy, move. Thank you. Alright, so that's another big one down. Yeah, this mountain goat, I wouldn't be surprised if he has a really, really high trophy rating because those are some big horns there. And I mean, he could potentially look like a level 5 if I, if I was to guess without marking him, he would look like a level 5 to me. So, um... Yeah, we're going to pick him up. Double lung shot at 144 yards out. And, uh, yeah, 100.9. That was another giant mountain goat. And uh, I'm surprised we haven't got another level 5 yet. Okay, that's a level 3. We got two level 3s down there. And I don't know why, but that that one right there, 
It's a giant. I didn't even know that level threes could have that high of a trophy rating. Usually, I would say that that should be a level four, but we're going to take him out. I think that's going to be a guaranteed gold. Okay, yeah, we dropped him. Now we just need to try and get down this hill without dying. Here is our big boy. I'm kind of surprised that this level 3 had such a high trophy rating. And um, I think we double lunged him because, yeah, he dropped. This muzzle load is just so fun to use. I mean, it's it's extremely powerful, but the only downside to it is that it takes like a minute to reload. Okay, so we shot that really nice size level 3 a few minutes ago, and I guess we spooked another big level 3 that's a guaranteed gold, so once he gives us a nice angle, we're going to try and drop him. Yeah, I think we dropped him right there when he was trotting. So that's another big one, and um, he had a trophy rating that went all the way up to 99, which is just a giant for being a level 3. Alright, ignore the other two or three dead mountain goats that I just shot. Um, I'm just going to pick up this big level three. So, um, I think he's going to be a gold. He is a really nice size one. Yeah, this one was actually bigger than the last one, 90.2. So, this is pretty good progress with respawns, and hopefully we can get a level five soon. I swapped to a different lake, and this spot just has a ton of really nice sized mountain goats. Most of them are female, but I think the biggest one right there is a really big level 4. So we're going to see if we can drop him at 200 yards out. We smoked him. That was perfect. I can't see him right there, but I had him highlighted, and I know he went down in those, in those bushes back there. Alright, I think I finally located where I hit him, and he's in between these trees and the bushes, so it was kind of difficult to find him just because there were so many goats here, it was hard to find his exact tracks, but dang, that was much farther than I thought, it was actually 283 yards, and I still aimed high and we hit the bottom of the lung, but that still worked out properly and we dropped him. Whoa, where did that dude come from? We just found a level 5 medium mountain goat. Let's go. That is a giant, and I think that's actually a guaranteed diamond there. No freaking way. That is huge. Um, Yeah, it's, it's way after mountain goat drink time, and I just came over to this side of the map to maybe see if I can get some bears when they're resting. And this dude just came out of nowhere. I think he was coming from that lake off to the side there and he's probably leaving to go rest or feed right now so I don't know for sure but if we can I want to try and get him with the muzzle loader that would be insane to get a diamond mountain goat with the muzzle loader because I don't have anything like that but yeah I need to make sure I'm using the proper ammo okay yeah but Let's go see. I think he just went in the bushes. I made a pretty big mistake. So I was trying to sneak down this cliff and get a shot on this mountain goat. Because he was hiding back here in this brush. And the noise from me just crashing down the mountain. Um, I guess that alerted him. And I just saw him running like a hundred miles this direction through these trees way over this mountain so I don't even know where he went but in the meantime we're gonna try and track him down and see if we can hopefully find him I'm gonna see if he maybe comes back so I might just chill here for a second but I think we still do have a chance to get him 20 minutes of tracking later and I made it over the top of this hill I think he's a bit ahead of us and I'm hoping we're gonna get a shot pretty soon I did see that his poop is pretty fresh so that's good is that, oh my gosh we just found him oh my gosh there we go 
Alright, he's nervous out there. At like, I don't know, maybe 160 yards. If he would turn broadside there, that would be one of the best shots we can get. That would be a perfect... Okay, he went, he went alert. That's kind of what we wanted to do. If he gives us an angle, I'm going to go for the shot. Oh my gosh. That thing is a massive, massive animal. Probably over 300 pounds, at least. Where is he? Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. I should have gone for that shot, but I just couldn't see. I think he's going to turn again. I think he's going to turn. He's turning, he's turning. Perfect, perfect, he's perfect, right there, right there. We dropped him, we dropped him. That was so cool. I think we just got a diamond mountain goat with the muzzle loader. That is insane. All right, before we pick up this mountain goat, I just wanna show you guys how far I tracked him. So I started off on the other side of this mountain by uh, this tent over here and I saw him, I spooked him and I got a shot. So we're gonna see if he's a diamond. Let's go, he's a diamond. I, I'm so happy. I, I had a thought for a minute that he wouldn't make it, but he scored 110.7 and that's definitely way above the diamond estimate or the diamond score. So that is just so cool. I've never actually got a diamond mountain goat with the muzzle loader. So this is a pretty cool addition that we can add to the trophy lodge. I'm definitely going to get him mounted. Alright, before we leave Silver Ridge Peaks, I just want to show you guys four of my favorite lakes to hunt mountain goats at. So this lake right down here uh, at the bottom is pretty good. Uh, this lake too, and uh, those two at the top are also very good. But... Um, they're kind of in a square here, and then there's like this mountain in the middle, and that's where I got the diamond. So I would definitely recommend testing out these spots. Here is our massive mountain goat. He was a giant. He scored 110.7, and I was super happy to get him with the muzzle loader. But he's right here on the wall. I put him next to the other mountain goat that you can see behind him a bit farther down. And uh, I think this is going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, uh, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. I would really appreciate it so much, and I will see you on the next video.